Welcome to this Football Manager 2022 experiment. My name is Paul and I'm the wizard. And today, what I've done is I've created the world's best player and I've put him at Dulwich Hamlet in the Van Rama National South. Now, my question is, within 20 years I've cemented him at that club, can one player make such a big difference? Can one player make Dulwich Hamlet one of the best teams in the world within 20 years? Can one player take them into the Football League? Can one player take them all the way to the Premier League? Or does one player within a team not make that much of a difference? Let's head over, check out how he looks, and we'll go from there. So here we are, looking at the best. Now he is set to join Hashtag United on the 1st of the 7th, 2041. 20 years into the game. So you can see he is 16 years old, born on the 1st of the 7th, 2005, which means he turns 17 just before the start of next season. And he can play all the way across the line behind the striker as well as striker. And he's already valued at 7.2 million to 22 million for a team in the Vanarama National League South. And you can see he's fairly decent with a, a, a few 15s, all of them in technicals, a, a fair few decent 15s in mentals as well as 20 determination, 20 flair, 18 leadership, 18 bravery. You can see he's got 20 natural fitness as well. Model citizen personality. We are expecting quality from him. We are expecting quality. So let's jump forward to the end of season one and let's see how his first season in professional football, semi-professional football, let's see how it went. So the first season at Dulwich Hammer for the best, the world's best is his full name, is over and they were champions. They, they did lose seven games, so the world's best striker didn't defend for them, um, unfortunately. But they won 23, drew 16, lost 7, 85 points. Dulwich Hamlet are promoted to the National Premier. You can see top goal scorer in the division was the best with 32 goals. And also second best assists at 19. So if we go on him, you can see straight away we've had some improvements as well. Dribbling's up to 16, finishing is up to 16 and technique is up to 16. Vision has gone up to 16. Um, they are the same. And pace and strength also have gone up to 16. So what we can see is even down at this level, this player is improving. I did wonder if due to facilities, he wouldn't improve. So 37 appearances in the league, 32 goals, 19 assists. 37 goals in all competitions, 22 assists. 7.72 average. And... He's been capped five times by the under-21s with five goals. Now, that is interesting. Is he going to get a cap for the English national team while still playing non-league football? That's the question here now. Is he going to get capped by England while playing non-league? We're going to jump five seasons ahead now and see how he and Dutch Hamlet are performing. Okay, so we're five seasons in, 2026. Dulwich Hamlet are not in non-league anymore. Are they up in League 2? Dulwich Hamlet are not in League 2. Are they in League 1? They are in League 1 because I can see top goal scorer. But they've been relegated. They have been relegated. So the best who finished top goal scorer in the division as well as third in the assist chart could not keep Dulwich Hamlet in the division. That is insane. Okay, so they've gone down. Let's check their general, just out of curiosity. So they went up season one. They went up season two in third place. They finished ninth in League Two in the third season. And then they went up again in the fourth season before now being relegated in the fifth season. Now, I did see that um, their facilities are still very poor. So I'm going to be interested now, has it affected his growth? It has. So his corners are 14 and crossing is 14 now. 
Uh, dribbling still 16. Marking and passing and tackling all down to 14. And um, okay. But leadership has gone up to 19. Composure has gone up to 16. Agility has gone up. Balance has gone up. Pace has dropped again from 16 to 15. But stamina has gone up to 16. So there's been a fluctuation. There's been a fluctuation. If we're going to the career side of things, then 185 league appearances for him, 146 goals, 65 assists, 60 man of the matches, 60 man of the matches, um, 32 league goals that season, 33, 28 in the football league, 27, then 26. So he's actually declined in terms of goals a season since reaching the football league. Has he been hampered by many injuries? No. He had a minor tight hamstring in 2021. Then he's had food poison in 2025. Apart from that, apart from that, he's done a decent job. He's done a decent job. It's now time for the big one. We are going to jump. Oh, we didn't check. We didn't check. He's not been capped by England yet. But 38 under 21 games, 60 goals. 60 goals. That's insane. We're now going to jump to 2041. His final season has just ended before he moves to non-league to join Hashtag United. Let's see how he has done. Has he took them back up to League One? Let's go over and let's find this out. Okay, let's look in League Two first. They are not in League Two. I'm going to assume they didn't get relegated again. So let's go into League One. They are not in League One. Shoot, is he... Championship? No. I mean, they can't be non-league now, surely. Dulwich Hamlet have just been relegated from the Premier League. One player, one player adjusted, ended up with Dulwich Hamlet in the Premier League. They've got a new stadium, the Gavin Rose Park Stadium. The best is an icon. He's still the captain, still the key player. How, how have they done that? How have they done? So this was where they got relegated. Then they went straight back up. Then they finished 16th, 4th, 3rd. Third before winning the playoffs, finishing fourth, then nineteenth, nineteenth, eleventh, seventeenth. They went up in fifth in the playoffs before getting relegated nineteenth, bouncing straight back up, and then sixteenth. So since he came in, they've gone from the national, regional south, to the Premier League. I mean. That's insane. They've been playing him in attacking midfield. He's 37 now. Still on £150 a week. <laughs> still on £150 a week. And he was capped by England. 47 under 21 caps. 68 goals. 37 England caps. 23 goals. The best... The best at 35 years old is going to be dropping down and playing for Hashtag United. But look at his attributes. He has been insane. There's a few things have dropped to 12 and 13. A few things have stayed. Finishing's now up at 16. It was 15 after five seasons. Free kick taking's gone up. Leadership is now 20. Um, it's just crazy to see how he's... Sustain the development. You can see they must have used him in some of these positions due to the fact that um, they've now appeared as an option for him. How did he do from injuries? Nothing. Well, he had a five month major one, 2027, damage Achilles tendon. Five months out there. Two months here for a hip injury. Four weeks here. Six weeks. It's still nothing major, is it? It's nothing major. What did he do, award-wise? Oh, oh, my days. 
Look at this. Look at this. Team of the weeks. Team of the weeks. Team of the... Oh, my days. Just insane. Broke the average um, reign for season in 2039. 7.77 over 44 appearances. That's just insane. UEFA European Championship. He won the U Euros with England. He won the Euros with England. First international cap came at the age of 32. Came at the age of 32 after he'd been promoted. So there's clearly a Premier League bias going on there. Clearly. Jeez, that's just crazy. It's crazy. 716 league appearances, 479 goals, 201 assists, 256 man of the matches, with 764, 764 average rating, well 7.64, you know what I meant, but he had 476, 79 goals in the league, how many in all competitions did he manage? So in total, he scored 597 career goals, including internationals and cup games. 597. He was so close to 600 goals throughout his career. But it's insane to see what one player in the final third can do. What one player can do for a whole club. He drove that club forward. Did players come in? Because he was at the club. Did he grab games by the horns? Looking at the amount of assists, um, man of the matches, assist goals, average win? Yes. He was pivotal in taking Dulwich Hamlet from the National South all the way up to the Premier League. This has been an insane experiment. Thank you for watching. Make sure you do drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.